Welcome back everybody guys once again with another episode of Football Manager 2016 with Ace to FC Nuremberg and since the last episode um, a rather not too disappointing uh, Champions League first knockout round against Real Madrid where we lost 2-0 on aggregate uh, thanks to a disappointing away loss. Um, we had two games, we had the game against München, by München which actually went quite well, we only lost 1-0 despite having a red card and then Leibold did the stupidest mistake ever. Um, like. I can't remember, like he just let the guy through completely, was running the wrong direction and then yeah, Isco scored. But only losing 1-0 is better than I had hoped for to be honest. Uh, and then we came back with a 1-0 win against Stuttgart which is really impressive and even more so because Munich actually lost uh, to Borussia Mönchengladbach was it? Uh, no, Freiburg, Freiburg, they lost to Fry, not Fry, lost, drew to Freiburg which leaves us with a massive lead um, to the extent where we only actually need 5 points from our remaining game to officially win the league which is absolutely incredible if you look at this so if we beat Schalke and Leverkusen with one it, if we beat Schalke and draw two other games basically by the end we'll, we'll beat Darmstadt, Mainz or Hertha, we'll beat any two of them, that'll be fine um, we just need a few draws along the way and we've, we've got the league tied up in the bag um, I mean I shouldn't be too confident should I, this is setting myself to, to fail but yeah we've had two um, not too disappointing with the Bayern Munich result uh, and then not too impressed with the Stuttgart win to be honest beyond getting another goal uh, the has been pretty good and we're going to have a look at the team I've gone for the wide 4-3-3 Carl Melton and then Gokobo getting the central midfield partnership with Maya, Luan and Enzana in front uh, Maya's training obviously to be a right winger but he's not perfect yet he's, he's obviously preferring to be a central player but I want him to play as much as possible um, you can see which one's had a better impact since coming at the club uh, certain Luan. Um, Stojevic and Leibold get the full back positions. Uh, after that red card I find Hyung Jung Ho uh, one week's wages. He got Nancy so he's now dropped permanently. I was waiting for an excuse to drop him. He's just not been good enough for me at his time at the club. He's, I don't know why. He's he's pretty good at everything and then if you just look he's not managed the seven. It's just not good enough. So yeah it's the final straw, I was going to sell him last season, I was going to see it, sell him the season poor. This is the final straw, he's going at the end of the season, as is probably Margaret, which means I will be bringing in a new centre-back, since Lindsay Rose is really good, but I want a, a bit of a tank and a, a, another player alongside him, basically, um, as Gronoset and Krikic come in for the youth. I I want four solid centre-backs, and yep, yeah, I'll be signing a f the fourth one, who will be my starting sign up uh, never mind, I'm going to shut up now, and get into the game against Schalke. So our position today is fairly well known, a lot of players there that you'll have heard of, Nastasic and whoever it is, the centre back pairing is, um, they're not they're no, not the most consistent, but they are very formidable centre back pairing to come up against, a road in midfield, obviously the ex-Bayern player, Bittencourt's a good player, Quixote, he's a bit of a, a tank of a midfield I believe, if if he's the one I'm thinking he is, no, no, oh no, he's, I was thinking something else, I was thinking a striker I think, but this guy, look at this, vision, techni technique, um, his all round just he's a bit like Maximilian Meyer to be honest, sort of a lot of strengths and a lot of weaknesses. Hopefully it'll be his weaknesses that come through today, so I'll get into the game. I'm so sorry guys, I just forgot to press record and we scored. Um I was just sleeping, I was just watching the game, like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and I was like, Oh crap, I'm recording this one. And here it is, Leon was pushing pushing upfield, passes it across Denga Kobo, tight angle and he gets it in past the keeper. It was a very impressive goal to be honest and yeah, I'm pleased. I'm sorry I didn't record it. It was a bit just mindless. I was just sat here watching it. Um, Schalke have a highlight now. Nastasic to whoever it is. Back to Velen Ruifer. Out to Bittencourt. Oh, no label intercepts. And Gomer has a chance to cancel here. Enger Kobo can use his ability. Enzana plays through Meyer. Maximilian Meyer hasn't scored yet since coming to the club. Eight appearances. This is his ninth. And he's hit the crossbar. Oh. I realise I never quite mentioned the wages these guys are on. They're fairly hefty. It's 86,000 a week I'm paying Leanne and then, I mean, Maximilian Meyer, if he wasn't German, I would not have signed him, but he's on 145 a week. There you go. Yeah. If he was not German, there's no chance I would have signed him, but I needed homegrown players, as in homegrown in nation. Saying that, we've got an attack in Zana. Out wide to Leibold, can he get a decent ball in? I think he's banned for the next match now. Oh no, it's my right fullback, so banned. Oh, beautiful Angakobo. He's tearing this game apart. That's only his third game of the season and the goal of the season. This is two in this game. What a player he's been for me. Um, so he's he's going to be such a good player in the future, this guy. He's very fast, very strong, very big. He's he's sort of almost Yaya Torre-esque, I need to say. 
only faster. He's he's just he's going to be such a good player for us. Let's have a quick look at him. Here we go. Look at those physicals. Those physical attributes are simply insane. He's 19, remember. Determination, decision making, already up there. His work rate's a lot higher. Um, free kicks. He's going to be absolutely incredible in the future. And I seem to be glossing over the fact that a win today sees us go two points away from a league title with about six or seven games to go, which is absolutely insane. I mean, we have to thank Bayern Munich for having a horrendous run of form where they lost and drew about ten consecutive games. It was. It's really helped us out, that run has, and we've got to half-time with a 2-0 lead. We have a highlight here, Stokovic out to Nzana, Nzana, can he get a good ball in, into Nkogobo, to Gomel, to Gomel, shoots, Leanne gets the rebound in. Could see that happening a mile off, and beautiful goal by Leanne. Uh, he's fourth goal in, what, nine games, so nearly a goal every second game, he's been brilliant since coming into the club. Fairly expensive, but he's been worth it. He's just, he's, in the way Maya isn't all round, well-rounded, he's very you know, cliche, he's sort of got really good and really bad stats, Leanne has got a bit of everything which is great, they sort of complement each other, one of them can turn a game and the other one will consistently perform for you and come up game after game and be decent, so yeah, it's, they, were, they were a nice duo to have along with Beland who's very similar to Maya in his sort of on-offness, his in lack of consistency, bitten caught intercepts there, poor ball by Nzana, Nzana obviously from the from our own youth Beautiful save by Wildsmith there. And Zahn has come through our own youth ranks, which is quite impressive. Um, he's not looking as strong as some of the players we've signed, but he still looks like he could be pretty good in the future. And all well, coming through the youth is obviously something I always like to see. So, yeah, I'll give him another chance. Maya forward to Leanne. Leanne can't get there. And Trapiscio passes back, and they're going to clear Adi. There you go, clears out. So, I've played a 4 2 3 1 now with Full Creek on the right wing. We've got 10 minutes left, 3 0. Um, yeah, it's going good. Gomelt uh, also brought on Krikic for Gronoset, who was on the yellow card. There you go, Gomelt out to Leibolt. Leibolt just gets there. Uh, I'm not going to take care of the full backs off because I think the backup full backs are one yellow card from a suspension. And well, we don't want that, do we? Enga Kobo getting a forward. Maya, Maya in the central. Hopefully, he can gain some confidence playing in the centre. Ends on a beautiful goal. I mean, Full Creek's more of a target man than a winger, but he can play as a winger. And well, he showed us how to do it there. Um, a nice run by him, a nice pass, and then Zana gets to the end. Um, two Germans there linking up from Veda Bremen, Full Creek into Nzana from our own youth system. I'm amazed we got. We've had so many great youth players. It's it's brilliant. And I mean, a lot of them are strikers, but I'm not going to complain. They they're just coming through thick and fast, and they're all really good. Full Creek get the ball again here. Garmel passing it forward. Nzana. Nzana's got options. He's going to pick out Meyer. Maximilian Meyer hopefully can try and dictate play a bit more from the centre of the pitch. Out to Leibolt. Leibolt, can you get a good ball in? It's back to Krikic. They're passing it back and Gomelt. Gomelt playing as a deep length um, playmaker with uh, Enger Kobo playing as a box to box midfielder. So I'm just taking advantage of the fact they're playing really good games. I don't need a defensive midfielder because it'll dominate the midfield due to just the, the game they're having. It's sort of how, how FM works, I've noticed. Is you always need a defensive midfielder unless your midfield are already dominating the game and then you don't need it. Corb oh, thankfully oh it's a corner. The last chance for Schalke, but it's four nil. I mean I say last chance, they've got nothing riding on them. I don't really want to make a change because I want Maya to gain confidence. Um Luand playing too well to take more offense on, I want him to gain confidence. Gormelt and Nkakobo playing too well and the rest are on yellow cards. Which I guess is a good reason to take him off, but um I can't be bothered with five minutes left. I'm just gonna leave it like it is. I've noticed a couple of familiar f names have come off. Uh, come on, Gaudinho, he's obviously starts at Bayern, has some amazing potential, this guy does. Look at that first touch, composure, technique, passing. He's He's got the potential to be one hell of a playmaker. And Vargas played for QPR, I believe, um, in the Prem. He, he looks pretty decent, but he's obviously, he's got something lacking. Well, I guess he was in that QPR team, which had a lot of, a lot of um, sort of creative players and not much steel, if that makes sense. They... I, that's why I think they collapsed. They had too many of one style of player, too many like creative style players, and it just doesn't work in the team. And Full Creek gets dispossessed here. Gaudino has got a chance, but he's only got 15 seconds. He better get a ball forward now. Um, ooh, that was a tempting shot from range, a tantalising shot from range, but 4 0. What an emphatic victory over Schalke. Uh, we drew against them early in the season, and yeah, what a solid win. I will congratulate the team. And we're two points away from the league title, which is absolutely insane um I'm, I'm just yeah well i'll see you guys in the next game against leverkusen here we are back again the game against leverkusen a win sees us win the title which is 
absolutely insane because look we've still got six games left including this one um, so we just draw three of them and won the title but that's not the point the point is a win Caesars win the title and that is the aim I've picked a team today um, a couple of changes Krikic comes in for Gonaset due to suspension uh, Labels also out due to suspension so Yunsuk Young comes in immediate replacements um, Yundrako is injured I wasn't going to play him anyway but that's just enforced his not playing and guess who else is injured that's right Will Keane's injured again um, he's got one hell of a goal scoring record this season mainly because he hasn't played due to injury uh, but apart from that yeah the rest of the players out um, are sort of these are the sort of players if you look at them um, apart from Rakowski and the one suspended are the ones who I'm looking to sell next season or oh, possibly Belhanda he can stay um, but most of the, these players are going to be the team that's going to continue on next season uh, possibly replacing Wild Smith, that'd be interesting. Um, Rakowski's going to stay as my second choice because he's home, homegrown at the club. He's look at him, history. Oh no, he's from Schalke. Bloody hell, I got that one wrong, didn't I? Well, that's just. Oh no, he's, he's trained at both. I thought he was trained at both. But yeah, um, some good players here. The team's fairly similar. I think it's exactly the same as last time, apart from Krikic and Yunsuk Yo, uh, Yunsuk Young. Uh, and we're going to get into the game. We are against Leverkusen. So there we have it. Proof is in the pudding but it's also in the statement here in the status where we'll win away from being champions and that also means Augsburg could win as a title just saying you know Augsburg uh, oh poor guy for us Saturday and don't want to press that do we recognize any Lars Bender nobody knows Lars Bender Munier the Barcelona striker Gabriel Jesus also fairly well known he had a expensive transfer in January uh, Jonathan Ta pretty good centre back uh, Young also good um, I think he played for Bayern at some point uh, in real life as well. Um, some solid player, Bern Leno, obviously everybody knows Bern Leno. Uh, hello player, let's just have a quick look at... Oh, never mind, I can't be bothered. And we're going to get into the game. My apologies, he's never played for Bayern, that was a mistake on my part. He went to Wolfsburg um, and then Stuttgart. Fairly cheap transfers actually, considering he looks fairly decent if we have a quick look at him. he's He's got some good attributes, but he's never played for Bayern, that was a bit of a mistake on my part. So half an hour's gone and nothing's happened. It's been a very even game. We've slightly edged it in terms of well all the stats basically apart from they've had a half chance and we haven't. Overall we're doing slightly better but we've not seen a highlight and we're not gonna see a goal anytime soon when it looks fit. Although I can still hope we can get a lead into half time, which would be great. because um, all we need, as I've as I've said a few hundred times already this episode, is one win. One more win. So I've brought Tennessee on and I've played the 4-3-3 uh, narrow one, the narrow one that is, they're all 4 3 I don't know why I even name them that. Um, yeah, hopefully we can get something out of this, Enga Kobo and Gormelt providing the, the width in midfield now as central midfielders, hopefully they can get something going, but well, nothing seems to be happening. Saying that, Wild Smith with a goal kick now, forward to Nzana, Nzana is headed away from Nzana and they've got the ball now, Leverkusen, in the middle of the park, Bender. I don't know how they've managed to outnumber us, considering we've got four central midfield and Munir scored. We're one win away, one win away from winning the title, and we concede a goal like that. And here it is, Yogi passes it to Bender. Bender sees Delegado, you know, all four of our midfielders rush to the ball uh, too soon, and Munir gets past his man and scores. Who's number 15? Number 15 is going to be what? watch out number 15. Who is it? Arch oh, Rose. He's lucky because he's good. So Yun Suk Young's come off with an injury. I've put Lindsay Rose on the left, Hayden in the middle, and I've played a 4-2-3-1. You can see it quite clearly on the pitch actually at the moment. Um, with yeah, uh, also Tennessee's come on. Uh, Leanne's moved out to right. Here we are. Tennessee on the ball now. Um, the whiskey real estate. It really doesn't matter. Enga Kobo, Eras, Eras four turns on. And Zana's got options. Out wide Sokovic. Can Sokovic get a ball? And he can. Ta clears it and Leverkusen the clear only as far as Lindsay Rose to Gomel. Gomel's got options. Enka Kobo in the centre. Can he work his magic like in the last game? Stokovic into the box. Tennessee. What a goal by Tennessee. Beautiful stuff. We're back in this. One all. We're now what a goal away from winning the league. This this is insane. And it's what is this? The fourth season? The fourth season and the fourth season. I can't believe I can't believe we're one goal away from winning the league in the fourth season. There we are, Tennessee. We're not just one goal away, we've also got five more games if we mess it up in this one. That is insane. We have to lose the rest of our games and Bayern have to win the rest of theirs for them to win the game. Because we actually only need one more point, as in two more points, including this game, not three. Three is a bit of space, cricket clears. Um, yeah, this is beautiful. This feels amazing. 
I've just got the biggest grin ever on my face at the moment. They've got another attack, Lacazette plays for them. That's disappointing. I remember that now. He is very good. Look at him. He, he is very good. That finishing is scary. Composure 15, off the ball 14, acceleration and pace 16. He's got some good attributes and he's headed it over, thankfully. And well, we've got another 20 minutes left to get the win. I'm actually, Leon's going to stay on just because he's better, and then Zana's the one who's going to come off for Full Creek. Uh, Full Creek gets to be a. Um, he can be a poacher. I've decided. I've decided he can play as a poacher. Uh, I don't know why I haven't, but I, I don't really have options to play a target man. It, it's not the correct style. Cricket, can you get the ball? He can't. Beautifully done against Munir. Munir obviously being fast and skillful. Leanne gets tackled though by their centre back, who's in a very weak position. If we can get the ball now, we can get a good counter on. Unfortunately, they've reorganised the Munir's on the attack now. Cricket, another good tackle. Gomel can full crew get through. He's not fast enough for that. Burn Leno clears only as far as Leon to Engerkobo. Engerkobo can use his pace and power. He can't. He gets tackled. Taken out. Mort would be more correct. And Munir's got the counter now. Leverkusen with a chance. Edge of the box. Whipped in. Gabriel Jesus scores. Well, we've all got one thing we want to say now. Jesus. Gabriel Jesus, obviously. No no Lord name in vain for me. Money on the edge of the box. Whips in. I mean, our centre-back's absolutely sleeping there. Whoever that is. I think that's Rose again. Absolutely sleeping, and we're 2-1 down. <sighs> I guess the league title will have to wait till the next game. Leverkusen have another attack down to Del Gandillo. Into box, Rose clears to Enka Kobo. Can we get a counter now? Tennessee on this left flank. Oh, beautiful cross the pitch ball. Leon. Leon has options. Full creek. Full creek is one on one. Enka Kobo. Lap, 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 lap. It's a corner. It's a goal kick. Bugger. And Leverkusen have another chance. 3 1. Well, it's been an entertaining second half, but it's gone down in flames, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to win the title today. So I've brought up the scores, and just to check, Vidal has scored a penalty in the 81st minute, which has given Bayern, seems to be giving Bayern the win, they've only got a couple of minutes left to play, uh, we're not going to get a comeback here, in fact, Elgar, there we go, 4-1, just in case it wasn't bad enough, um, but yeah, it looks like Bayern are going to win their game, Augsburg aren't going to do us any fav favours, it would seem, I'm going to skip that, I can't be asked to watch, um, yeah, we're all watching that. That's that's the only hope of winning the title today, and we've got one and a half minutes left. Full time, we lost 4-1, Augsburg lost 1-0, and unfortunately we haven't won the league today. And Young Tuck Young is out for nearly two months. That is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So, here we are, another chance to win the title. This time I've gone for the 4-3-3 narrow formation, um, try and dominate the centre of the park, uh, try and do something different to be honest, and hopefully we can get in this and beat Vida Bream just need to be to remember Bayern are playing Hoffenheim later maybe they can drop points we're so close to this league table and I, I really just want to wrap it up opposition today is fairly strong most players a lot of players are recognized but um, some of them have, having obviously got relegated a couple of seasons ago they've had a lot of a reshaping got rid of some of the better players in the side Hofland one of our ex center backs is in the team but yeah hopefully we can get some it from this and finally win this title right then um, Eretz has just scored an absolute thunder bastard. Wait till you see it. It's, it's gorgeous. This is my defensive mid, remember. Um, just just watch it. It's a corner. We get a corner. They play it out. We get the ball at the edge of the box. We're passing it around. Here we are. Move out. Passes back to Labour. And watch this now. Lays it off. Eretz. One touch. And bang. Top corner. That is absolutely gorgeous. What a goal. That is one of the nicest goals I've seen in this save. It's, it's a beautiful one. Just at his feet. And then he curls it into that top corner absolutely beautiful and we've got the one nil lead which is brilliant and uh, Veda Brehm have another attack here but Enga Kobo cuts it out move out to Enga Kobo the fast playmaker unfortunately his pass is cut out Troll away on this right flank now he's got pace to burn let's have a look at his pace just a second 17-16 he's quite fast but we've got the ball back I wasn't paying attention move out in the centre park he's got a call up again the German who's been with us since our second Bundesliga days Enga Kobo and Sana can't get there Moval got the ball again though. Um, Eras out to Label. Can Label get a decent ball in? A whole load of players are gonna. Beautiful, beautiful goal that was. Well worked. Tenth goal of the season by the. The players come through the youth academy. It's amazing. He's played I think 20 games now, and he's only 18, and he's come through my own youth academy. It, it's not often you get so soon in a save a player, who's actually good enough to to play in the first team. Certainly not at this level. 
beautiful goal. He got there. And he's got a bright future, that kid does. We're going to win the league. We're going to win the league. Hey, oh, hey, oh. We're going to win the league. Apologies for the singing. Um, I have no excuses. Does that count as an excuse? I don't know. Vidal Bremen have an attack here. Eggstein to Donis to Eggstein. Beautifully cut out by Rose. Gonna set. It's passed back to the keeper. Don't know who by. Labour on this left flank. Back to Wildsmith. Clears it. Leon can get there. Not had the best of games as a false nine. Um, I'm so glad I got him. He can play everywhere. It's beautiful. Four natural positions. That is rare. Um, he's obviously right footed so prefers to play on that left flank if we're playing inside forwards. On the right. Wow. I was talking about invaders with 3 up. Absolutely amazing stuff here. Stokovic with the ball in. It's pretty similar to the second goal. Um, just watch this now. Stokovic, beautiful ball through. Leon's the first to capitalise and puts it past the keeper. Beautiful goal. Nicely done, Leon. And yeah, we're, we're going to win the league. So it's the second half. Um, Belhanda and Martins have come on for Enger Kobo and Movelt uh, just to give them some game time there. Andrew Martins in order to sell him, hopefully, for a decent amount at the end of the season. Um, and Belhand has obviously come back from injury, so I'd like to... How are we always outnumbered when we're playing four in the middle? That's insane. Um, but yeah. Oh, yeah. It's it's going good, 3-0, with half an hour, just over half an hour left. I've also brought on Max Meyer in order to get him some um, confidence, basically. Get him some game time. I really want him to be really good next season, so we can compete on the Champions League front. Um, obviously there's a lot of strengthening that needs doing there's a lot of um, there's some strong positions but there's some positions that are really um, a bottom of a Bundesliga quality for example goalkeeper um, uh, centre-backs really Lindsay Rose is um, good enough to be a third choice really for for a, a Bundesliga winning side so the entire back four is is not quite up to scratch yet the midfield and the attack is looking fairly decent I'm pretty pleased with those positions it's it's the defensive unit who really um, Aren't, aren't quite up to scratch yet apart from Lindsay Rose uh, and the young players who are obviously going to be amazing in the future we don't have quite the quality for the starting 11 there Werder Bremen actually have a chance here Gakinovic to Traore Troy's got options to Mulfhaup Mulfhaup to Holland on this left flank to Gakinovic again into the box they've scored 3-1 I mean they can't get another 2 goals in 10 minutes so should be okay and no I'm not watching the 3D highlight yeah, so what's that saying about it's not over till the fat lady sings? Um, Zinovic just scored a free kick. We've got five minutes left to hold on to the title. Here it is, edge of the box, stupid free kick to give away. Over the wall, into the top corner. I mean, nobody in the wall jumped, to be honest. That was rather disappointing. Um, yeah, we've got five minutes left to hold on to this one. So I'm pulling out the defensive formation for the last ten minutes. Also, the fact that it's got wingers should hopefully change the game up a bit. They won't be expecting this. Hopefully, we'll be able to hold out for the last few minutes using this tactic. Here we have it. Five seconds left. They've got a throw in. We've managed to hold out. 3-0 at halftime. 3-2 is a full-time score. Um, thanks to our full-back having I mean, brilliant performance. whole lot of players have played amazingly. They actually got man of match. But we've won the league. So we've won the league, which is absolutely amazing. 3-2. Um, I'm just, I'm over the mean, moon, mean, moon, ah, talking rubbish, oof, won the league, <laughs> I can't believe it, it's, that's four seasons in, and we've won it, that is insane, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity, it is, it is one hell of a wonder, um, I'm going to quickly look for the squad then, uh, I won't do an end of season review, I'll do it now instead, uh, I won't look at player, etc, etc, the last few games mean nothing, so I'm not going to count them in, um, the best player of the season, Enger Kobo has been brilliant. Um, the youngster has really come into his own this season. He's really progressing well. Let's have a quick look at ways he seems to be progressing. Maybe let's have a look. Does it show here? If I if I quickly ask for like box to box midfielder, you can just see that the improvement he's had this season's been this. Look at that, he's had some brilliant improvements, passing and so on. Uh, he's looking great. Uh, other players of note, Movelt still doing it strong. Have a look at this guy. History played in the second Bundesliga. He's he's had one hell of a rise, um, and it it's worked well for him. Uh, Leon come in, scored five goals in eleven. Really helped us in that final push. Top goal scorers, Full Creek got thirteen in, in well, probably yeah twenty five games, um, but ten off the bench. That's a pretty good record. And Zana, the eighteen year old from our own youth system, has come on greatly. He's going to be a captain in the future. Um, he's going to be really good for us, I hope. Uh, and he's had 10 goals in nearly 30 games. That's that's still a decent. I mean, these are both what a goal every two slash three games is. There's space between them. 
they've nearly got a goal a game, which is good. Uh, Leon's come in and scored a whole load. Um, Insigne on loan. I've not given much of a chance, but he's been brilliant. Uh, it's not his fault. It's it's me. I've not been playing him because he's on loan. I don't have a chance of having him in the future, so I don't really want to um, halt the progression of my own players. Uh, in terms of assist, obviously the full backs going to be high up there. Full Creek had a couple late on. Um, not actually had that many. Um, single players getting a lot of assists, there's just a lot of depth in assist makers. Um, we've not actually scored that many, if you have a quick look at, is it here? Um, I don't know where it is, but somewhere it says, and we haven't had that many goals. We're like the fifth uh, top scoring in the league. Um, of note, value players, I mean, there's a whole load of players, there's two players with decent values, but that's mainly due to the fact I've done a lot of free transfers. if you have a look at, like Gormel, he's coming on a free, a lot of the players are coming on frees. Um, transfers for next season if I have a quick skim through if I can get an upgrade on Wild Smith I will uh, these two will go and be replaced by a top quality centre back I hope that that's the aim at least uh, label and Yun Suk Young I'm actually pleased with and they're probably going to stay but I might um, try and get a solid right back in to replace Stokovic especially as he's wanted if I can sell him I might get a decent replacement I've only got 20 million for next season but that might increase uh, try and get rid of Behrens possibly um, hopefully get rid of Martins if I get sell both of them I might get a German uh, central midfielder in but I don't think I need anybody I'll be fine there and if I can sell Will Keane um, I doubt I'll need another striker but again it's all about what the market offers but thank you ever so much for watching what has been an amazing season uh, German Cup again we've done badly uh, we've not matched the expectations um, but in the league we won the league there's, there's nothing better what can i say and we haven't just won the league we've won the league with four games to spare that is absolutely insane um bayern haven't played their game yet but it doesn't matter for them anymore um they obviously want to come second to avoid the playoff if playoffs involved in the three i don't know yeah that is that is insane let's have a look is full creek no full creek dropped off the top three yeah f thank you for watching guys um i hope you enjoyed let's just have it one other thing team detailed Let's go right down to the bottom and have a look at salary. Oh, we're actually quite high. We're seven. Okay, it's, it's not not that impressive as I thought it would be. There's still a massive gulf between us and some of the, and the teams above us. There's quite a jump. But yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, have you had similar success? Anything like that? Just tell me about it, please. Comments section below. Um, I'd love to see your feedback. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.